Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is all about finding the volume of different shapes. So some of our children have gone home with a SATS question booklet. There are some questions in there about volume and we're going to go through these on the PowerPoint. But if you're just looking at the video because you're struggling with it, there'll be some really good helpful hints on here for you too. Okay, so the first thing we should really talk about is how do I find the volume of a shape? Okay, so the really easy way of explaining that is that you have to times the length, the height and the depth all together to find the volume. Just like on a 2D shape, if you were finding the area, you would find the height times the length. You're now just adding the third dimension onto this, which is the depth. Okay, so looking at this shape then, we can see that we have a depth of 3 centimetres, a length of 5 centimetres and a height of 2 centimetres. So that means I have to multiply those three numbers together. So as you can see here, I have done that. I have multiplied 3 and 5 together to make 15 and then multiplied the answer by 2 to get 30. Now remember, because you're finding the volume, it is 30 centimetres cubed. So let's have a look at some SATS questions that you might get about volume. So the first question is telling you that you have the net of a cube, so basically the cube flattened. It then asks you to find the volume of the cube. So the first thing that I would do is I would recognise that my cube going down the middle is split into four squares. Now I know all together that means that the squares are 20 centimetres. Now what I do is I need to find the size of one of my squares, so I would divide 20 by 4. So I've done that and I have found that the height of my square is 5. Now because I know that my cube is made up of identical squares, I know that the height, the depth, and the length of my square is uh, of my cube sorry is all going to be 5 centimeters so therefore to find the volume of this cube i would do 5 times 5 times 5 which would give me the answer of 125 centimeters cubed okay so looking at uh, the next question cube a and cuboid b have the same volume so the first thing that i would do is deal with what we know about shape a Now because it is a square, we have got 6 as our length, we'll also have 6 as our height, and then because it's a cube going backwards, we will also have a depth of 6. So in order to find the area of A, I would do 6 times 6 times 6. That would give me uh, the answer of 216 centimetres cubed. It also means, if you look lo uh, further down, it is the same as 6 cubed, because that is essentially what you're asking us to do, which is why the answer is 216 centimetres cubed. So now we found this out, we know that the volume of that shape is also the same as the volume of shape B. So what I have to do now is I know that 6 multiplied by 4, the two sides that I know, gives me an answer of 24. I then need to know what I'm going to multiply 24 by to get to 216, which is the volume. So as you can see down on the bottom line, I don't know what that shape size is because it has a question mark. So it's basically 24 times that question mark is going to be 216. Okay, now the way that I would go about that is I would divide 216 by 24 or you could find what you multiply 24 by. So here the answer for this one is 9 because 24 multiplied by 9 is 216. So the missing length on cuboid B is 9. Okay, so the next question. Poppy made a shape with some blocks, so that's the shape Poppy's made. Write the letter of the shape that has got the same volume. So at the top, I found the volume of the first shape by actually just counting up how many square cubes my shape is made out of. Now I can see that there are 
three sets of four, sorry, four sets of four, and two on top, which means that all together I will have got a total of 18 blocks. So I then had a look at doing the same for C down at the bottom. So I can see that each section is made up of four blocks and I have got three lots of that, which means that I have got the volume of 12 centimetres cubed. So I know straight away that that has not got the same volume shape. I can see that mine is now split into groups of two. And I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight lots of those. Two lots of eight are 16. So again, I have 16 centimetres cube and it is not the same as my original shape. Moving on to shape D. So if you look down at the bottom, it's literally, that's the easiest one to find, just a long row of cubes where there are 16 in total. So that has a volume of 16 centimetres cubed, which is not the same as the original shape. Looking at B then, I can see that I've got six cubes facing me at the front and I've got three rows going back. So that would be six times three, which gives me the volume of 18, which means that B is the shape that has got the same volume as the one Poppy made at the top. Okay, so looking at the next question, very similar to the last one, taken from a SATS one, Emma makes a cuboid using 12 cubes. So straight away I know that the volume of that shape is going to be 12 centimetres cubed, because it is made up of 12 centimetre cubes. Uh, write the letter of the cuboid that has a different volume to Emma's cuboid. So we're actually trying to find the one that has not got the same volume. So I'm just going to repeat the method I did on the last one. You can see that I have counted all of the cubes that make up the shapes. Remember, the shapes like D, th that one's slightly harder because you can't see all of the cubes in that shape, but you can see the top and the side, which would help you with your multiplication. And then, as I can see on this one, C is the odd one out because it is the one that has got a different volume to the 12 centimeter cube one at the top. Okay, so the next question, one book is 6 centimetres wide, 15 centimetres long and 0 0.5 centimetres thick. Eight identical books are placed on top of each other. What is the volume taken up by the books? So the first thing I did here is I found some important information because actually this is a two step problem. The first thing I need to do is find the volume of one book. So I would do this by multiplying 6, 15 and 0 0.5 together. So I've multiplied 6 and 15 together to get 90 and I then have to multiply it by 0 0.5. Well basically that's multiplying by half. So actually what you have to do is find half of your original number which would give me the answer of 45 centimetres cubed. However, we have not got to the end of the question because the second part is asking me to find 8 identical books. So that means that the next step is to multiply my answer by 8. Here it is, 45 multiplied by 8, you could have done this using a, a method at the side or partitioning the number out, is 360 centimetres cubed. Hi, this is Miss Stringfellow here. I'm Miss Quinn. And welcome back to our YouTube channel. If you find our videos helpful, make sure that you subscribe and link down below.